Greetings and blessings. Today I want to talk about where I drink my water from and where the farm drinks its water from. So I've been drinking from natural springs since 2016 when I lived in Connecticut. I used to drive 40 minutes once a month to fill up my five gallon jugs to a natural spring. And then when I moved to Vermont, there's basically a natural spring in every direction. You could go north, south, east, or west, and there's a natural spring, at least in my region of southern Vermont. And I've mapped out like 20 in the state. And even when I've went across country, I've seeked out to specifically drink from natural springs using findaspring.com. And so this spring was in place from about 30 years ago, from when there used to be uh, cattle on this farm. And the farmer would use this uh, water from the spring high up in the mountain to um, let his cows get some water. So, it's a uh, siphoned pressure line, and this is just completely gravity fed, coming down from about 10 to 15 feet up the mountain. I got my jugs here. Unfortunately, they're plastic. I would rather them be uh, glass, but I just haven't got to that point in life yet. So the idea is to connect this to a spigot, three-way spigot, and have some hoses going, one over to the greenhouse, and one over to the other side of the farm, so I can water the farm. Maybe an IBC tote on the back of the greenhouse to just have like a stash of water. And so the three-way spigot, one will be a bypass so it can keep flowing into the stream. One hose goes to one side of the farm and another hose will go to the IBC tote so the greenhouse will have a stash of water. And uh, yeah, so like I said, it just comes from a natural spring right up the mountain. The spring pipe is already in place. And um, when drinking from natural string, springs, just use your best judgment. Like I've drinking water out of a stream that looked flowing nice, clear, many a times. Um, kind of just want to check up the stream, make sure there's not dead e any dead animals. But you can't always guarantee that. And sometimes you just have to use your best judgment. So if it's using, if it's running pretty clean, and uh, there's no near seeable contaminations. Um, I'd say you're pretty good to go. I mean, just based off of my own personal experiences, obviously there could be some unknown contaminations, bacterias, and you could be done in a day. So I guess you're taking that chance. But if you're not done, then you get to continue on and your body becomes stronger. Uh, like this water. I didn't test it. I saw upstream where the spring is, where the water is coming from. And uh, it just... Some of these things you just feel. It's intuitive. I don't know. I definitely wouldn't want to use that with mushrooms or herbs or identifying plants to eat, but with water, it feels right. It's my life, I'm just taking a chance. But anyways, let me fill up these jugs and uh, maybe we'll get that on video.
unfortunately I have to hold it. I haven't worked out the best stick platform yet. But what's cool about this now is that when I come to the farm and if my jugs are empty at home, I don't have to drive 20 minutes, 15 minutes to any of the springs in north, south, east or west directions. I can just come six minutes up to the farm, do my daily work at the farm, and when I'm watering the farm, I can get my water for my actual drinking needs. So, blessed to have access to this. Thankful to the man who was here before, who put this in for his cattle. And now myself and the farm will get to benefit from it. So warm love wholeness, we'll see you on the next one.